flight B-1 bombers flying from the United States to hit 85 Iranian-backed militant targets in Iraq and Syria on Friday in response to the killing of three U.S. service members last week. Our responses are not complete. Again, I'm not going to telegraph or discuss uh, what that may be other than we'll conduct that at a time and place of our choosing. <laughs> A day later, the U.S. and the U.K. struck 36 Iranian-backed Houthi targets in Yemen. But Iranian proxies in Iraq, Syria and Yemen did not appear to get the message. Iran-backed militants attacked U.S. and partner forces in Syria three times since Friday. An attack near mission support side Green Village killed six Syrian Democratic Force partners. The U.S. also destroyed more anti-ship missiles in Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen that were ready to launch into international shipping lanes after the U.S. and U.K. strikes. We're not at war with the Houthis. We're not seeking to go to war with the Houthis. But if they continue the attacks, we will continue to disrupt and degrade their capabilities. In addition to more attacks from Iran proxies, the U.S. is now taking heat from Iraqi officials who were not notified before the attacks and who say civilians were killed during the U.S. strikes that occurred on their soil. Iraq, like every country in the region, understood that there would be a response after the deaths of uh, our soldiers. Uh, as for this specific response on Friday, uh, there was not a pre-notification. We informed the Iraqis immediately after the strikes 